Good morning, Van Life. No strings attached. Street Ministry. Welcome, welcome. There's been a few requests about doing another cooking show, so hold on tight. I'm going to show you how to make a country fried steak. Eggs. Maybe eggs. Uh, maybe some business and gravy or something. But we'll uh, see what all we decide to come up with as we go. But, uh, yeah. Show you my setup here. I got country fried steaks. What I use is the top round. Still focus. It's four dollars and ninety-two cents. Let me uh, let me clean you off. See if that might help. <laughs> Well, not really. I don't know what's wrong with this phone. It's getting old, 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 old. But anyway, it's a top round, thin slice steak. A lot of people use uh, um, the cube steak. I don't like it. It's just too tough. I like this here. Sometimes the butchers there, I even have them cube this. Cut it up and cube it. Got a couple eggs. And this is the best way to, when you're in the van to buy your biscuits. And buy them from the deli and uh, that way you can pull out one or two I put the rest just in a regular old bread bag and by the time the end of the week comes around they're still just as fine have no problem with them never have uh, same as the eggs you know they're they just uh, if I remember to put them in the refrigerator I will in that little cooler if it's running if not it's all right just to have them sitting out just for a day or so. Of course, you can test that by, you know, floating them and see if they float or sink. If they sink, they're good. So, I mean, if you're really worried about it, to extend it a little bit, you can take some, like, uh, coconut oil or something and, you know, massage them in coconut oil and fill in all the little air gaps inside of them. You know, the shells are porous, and that's what makes them go bad. But um, regular, uh, you know, regular eggs, when they're hatched, they have a membrane already over them. That will protect them. If you can get them right from the chicken, don't even wash the eggs. Just set them off, and shoot, they'll last a month probably. But anyway, I mean, for six eggs is what I buy it at. They're seventy-five cents, I think it was, for three eggs. Hey, two nineteen for another dozen. But anyway, you know, for that, what have you lost? Even if you do have a couple go bad, but uh, I usually eat a uh, breakfast every morning, so I'm all right with that. But anyway, let me go on and get prepped up. I'm trying to do this on my cell phone. And uh, we'll get everything going here. And uh, I'll show you my dipping stations I've got. You know, i got my flour in one. And I'm going to put my eggs in the other bag. And So I do everything as easy, quick as I can with very, very little cleanup. So hang on. Okay, we got it all set up. Got my meat all cut and seasoned up here. I got my eggs seasoned up. And I got my flour all seasoned up. Just need to mix that to the flour a little bit. And what I use, I use a little bit of cayenne pepper, uh, sea salt, uh, paprika, and uh, herb de prom, de, de provenance. <laughs> but it's uh, almost like an Italian spice. It's actually pretty darn good. So I use that. It sort of gives a little unique flavor. I put a little bit of that in the flour and in the eggs salt in all three and cayenne in just the meat and then the paprika in the bread and also the meat and then i have two eggs put in here so let's let's see what happens here and what i do is i just take a a fillet and i'll flop it here in this egg here and i'll just toss it over here and i do the same thing and i coat both sides and I'll toss it in there and I'll coat it. It's hard to do this when you're one handed, but uh, I need to try to find me some kind of like a little stand for my cell phone. But hopefully, y'all forgive me on it. But just trying to get out some tip of cooking here. I really don't like the half dirty things of sitting around like dishes and things like that, so 
I try everything I do, I try to think it out to where I can get it done with just, you know, what I can throw away. So, I mean, and I don't have to buy bowls and things like that. I mean, I'll actually eat my dinner right out of the, the skillet here, but, or my breakfast. But anyway, that's what you do. And uh, then you'll put this up together. And you'll flop it around a little bit until they're fully coated. And I'll work that over off camera. And uh, we'll go from there and see how that works. Okay, now we're in the process of drying them up here. Once you get them dried up, I just set them over there. And let me show you how to do another batch. And I just take them out of the flour that I had them setting in. Shake it off. And I'll just gently lay those down in there. And that's it. Okay, and we'll just let those there and cook for about two minutes on each side. Brown up nice and pretty. When I get done, I'll just toss them over in that other pan there for a while. I love my cast iron. Tell you, if you've never cooked on cast iron, you're missing it. Probably one of the best things you could ever cook on. Durable, I mean, they're you clean them up, you keep them oiled, and you keep them, you know, seasoned properly, and you can cook on a fire, you can cook on a campfire, you can cook on a stove, and anywhere you want to cook, you can cook on them. Even on a bed of just regular charcoal. I mean, I've used these things just about everywhere. But um, you'd be surprised how, how nice they cook, and a lot of people don't like them, but you know what? They're tried and true for, what, 500 years, probably? <laughs> probably not that long, probably at least at least 200 I think so uh, but anyway do what you can to get you a set of them you can buy the cheap ones you know they got some cheaper brands out there and it's okay to buy those just might have to do a little bit of work on them you know just do some sanding I take some uh, sand and or sanding and uh, actually smooth down the inside surface if it's not really slick and then I'll just re-season the whole thing but um, we'll do a, maybe a video on reseasoning them and taking care of the maintenance. And, but uh, do everything you can to keep them oiled down. A little bit of uh, vegetable oil or olive oil, Crisco, whatever you want to use is fine. Uh, just keep them oiled down so that they don't rust and they keep their nice non-stick surface. All right, I'll be back. Okay there. There you go, guys. It's all nice and done. Give this gravy a little bit of try for you. <laughs> it's hot down here in Florida. Just like Grandma did. Have a great day.